Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do um, dermaplaning here at my own home. Um, I'm going to show you how I prep my skin um, before I do my dermaplaning, the tools that I use for my dermaplaning, and what I do after dermaplaning um, to kind of help with afterwards. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of walk you through how I do the dermaplaning here at home. I thought it would be kind of interesting maybe for you guys to show you what how I do it. Anyway, so without further ado, um, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, I am back and I moved y'all in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing and I turned down the lights a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> so welcome to my face. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my face with a um, alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy acid toner. And what this is going to do is going to kind of help prep the skin and kind of really help start removing the surface dead skin cells off the surface of my skin. And the one that I'm using is from um, Cosarex and it's the AHA, BHA, clarifying treatment toner and it is a spray but for this I'm going to spray it onto a cotton round and I like to use the ones that have that are textured the exfoliating ones and I'm just going to spray it onto my cotton round and kind of soak it a little bit and I'm just going to kind of start swiping it onto the skin I've already um, cleansed my face this morning and I'm doing this in the a.m. So I don't have any makeup on and I didn't have to worry about taking any makeup off because I didn't sleep any makeup. So I am just going to kind of wipe around and just kind of start working on getting that dead skin kind of working it on getting it kind of wiped away. So that's all I'm going to do with that and just kind of wipe that off. And then I'm going to really let my skin dry. So it's going to be a few minutes before I actually start my dermaplaning. And so this is going to have to really dry because I don't want to have any kind of wetness to the skin at all. So I'm going to talk about the tool that I actually use. And it's these razors here that I ordered off of Amazon. And it's the Miss Gorgeous... Um, blades. They're actually eyebrow trimmers um, and I'll have these linked in the description box down below. I'll, I'll link this to, I'll, I'll link everything that I'm using down below. And um, they are a straight razor. They are sharp so you do want to be careful and they do look like this. They do have a um, protector on them and they are just a straight razor. Now I could not imagine anybody wanting to use these for um, eyebrows <laughs> because if I use these on my eyebrows they would be completely um, gone. <laughs> they would be gone. Anyway, um, they were less than $15 for these and there were, gosh I don't remember how many was in here when I purchased these because, oh, there's, there's 10, there's 10 pack. And I do my microblading or my dermaplaning um, probably twice a month, if that. Um, usually how I tell when I need it is when I'm really getting kind of fuzzy here on my face um, is when I really kind of tell when I need it. So I feel like I'm pretty dry or Sorry, my phone. I feel like I'm pretty um, dry now. My face is dry. So basically what I do is I start on my cheeks. It's really hard for me to do my forehead because I don't have a whole lot of um, skin plumpness on my forehead. My, my skin's pretty thin. So I start with my cheek and I just kind of kind of hold it kind of tight. And I just hold my razor at an angle and I don't know if you can tell the amount of stuff that I'm getting off. Um, well, I dropped it anyway. So I just kind of hold it at an angle and I just start running it over my face like so. 
I usually do it at my um, my makeup mirror that's lighted where I can really tell what I'm doing. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, I was really kind of apprehensive at first with using this razor because I felt like, you know, with it being so sharp, I was afraid I might um, cut myself. And you can cut yourself with this, most definitely. So you definitely want to be very careful with it. Um, gosh, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell all the dead skin that's coming off of my face and the fuzz there. Let me go. Let's see if I move my mirror up here where I can get. Now, when you first do your first swipes, of course, you're going to get the fuzz off off your face but as you start going back over it you're going to really start seeing the dead skin coming off which is what you want because you definitely want to get that top layer of dead skin and I kind of go up in upward motion like this with my dermaplaning and I kind of have it at an angle and I'm just lightly, I'm not doing it really hard, I'm just barely touching the skin, I'm just doing it lightly here. And you will be surprised at how much dead skin that you will get off of your face by doing this. So much so that you will want to keep going over your face and going over your face, but don't do that because you will end up with a raw face. <laughs> don't do what I did. The chin is a little tricky. Uh, again, just kind of go up for motions. I'm trying to stay in frame, but yet see in my mirror. So I'm going to go to this side. Jeez, oh, all that hair. <laughs> Oh, it definitely needed to be defuzzed. <laughs> I was trying to wait to do this until I could do this video because I wanted to show you guys how I did this. I was using those little twinkle razors that I got off Amazon, but then I found these and these work so much better than those twinkle ones. Those twinkle ones Every time I would use those, I would always get little nicks and gouges because they had like really sharp pointy ends that would always nick me. And this works so much better. You can definitely get such a good dermaplaning with these. Or you really get a lot of dead skin off. It's just amazing how much dead skin you will get off of your. Now I'm gonna try and do my forehead. I. It's just really, really hard for me to do my forehead. <laughs> just because I don't have a whole lot of. Um, just that little bit, just that little bit. Boy, that got a lot. And so that's why I want to do my forehead, but it's just so hard for me to get an angle going here. There we go. And I don't want to get my, my eyebrows either because don't 
don't want to, I don't, definitely don't want to cut those suckers off. <laughs> definitely don't. But yeah, I don't do my nose. I just, I can't do my nose. It's, this blade is just too big to do my nose unless I just did the top of it. But. I don't really have good luck with it, but if you do it, you definitely want to do it at an angle, just like you do the rest of your face at an angle. And these are usually per only good for just one time doing your dermablading because by the time you get done with your whole face doing it and going over it a couple of times, your blade is pretty much done. Which they're inexpensive anyway, so it doesn't really kind of matter that you're only getting to use it one time. I'm going to go down to my neck a little bit here. I'm trying to look at you guys and look here. <laughs> this is harder to do than what I thought it was going to be. I want to make sure that I'm getting it good too. I just kind of wipe my blade off every few few passes. Do my chin again on this side. And um, I've been doing, I've been shaving my face. Basically, it's what we're doing. We're shaving our face. I have had any issues with any hairs growing back um, hard like a mustache hair. So I know some people are afraid to do this thinking that you know their hair is going to grow back coarse. I have not had any issue with that. Okay, I think we are just about done with this part of the dermablading. Okay, I had to stop for a minute. I had to go get the, my grandbabies came. I got the boys today. So anyway, I'm done with all of, with what I'm going to do with my blade. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an enzyme peel and going to use this and what this is going to do is just going to kind of help um, eat away at everything that we kind of kicked up with our blade and just kind of really help get rid of everything else that we did with the blade and what I'm using is this one here from a more Pacific that was sent to me from Octoly that I already did a review on and I'm going to just spread this on and leave this on for a few minutes and that's just going to kind of help just kind of eat away at what I um, kind of already kicked up from the dermablading, dermaplaning. This is a really gentle enzyme peel so it doesn't irritate because the skin is a little bit raw from blading it. So this is a good one to use. It's the More Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peeling Mask. And I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off. But it is a, um, it has botanical enzyme powder formula that removes dead surface skin cells. So for smoother, brighter skin. 
And then once I get done with this, then I'm going to put on a um, very hydrating sheet mask just to kind of really hydrate the skin after I've done all of this, um, getting all the dead skin off of the, um, why is that one spot still bleeding? That's okay. And um, that is how I do my dermablading. So I hope our dermablading, dermablading is the same thing. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed and have learned something. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.